Okay, so VCDS is the Volkswagen's scan tool and programming tool. It's the aftermarket tool, it's not original Volkswagen. It allows you to scan the various control modules in your car and in certain cases change the programming on how they behave or you know, how the various available options for each control module is. So, for example, Volkswagen puts the same display, same music system, same climate control on different cars and the way the hardware is the same but in the software models you can basically do different configurations to make them behave differently. It can be as simple as pressing a button and the button's behavior or it can be as complicated as changing the way your entire background of a car screen looks. So VCDS is one of these modules which allows you to do that and there's the cable which you can buy which you have to buy with the module the cable is paid for there's a software like software also which is you can download software is usually free but the cable is paid for so the cable has the the chips in it which allow you to program and allow you to decode the Volkswagen communication module and the software is how you do it so right now my software my cable needs a firmware upgrade so I just finished doing the firmware upgrade from the software itself so i'll just recheck for updates over here if you can see and it'll just tell me if my firmware has been updated properly yeah so there is everything is up to date so now we can start vcds so let me just show you guys okay, so now the vcds cable goes into an obd connector that pink port that you see that is your car's obd connector it's usually over here the orientation may be slightly different for different cars but in most Volkswagen, it's right as you open the passenger the driver side door and this cable essentially plugs into that one that port and then you can use the software on your computer so let's plug in the cable and then we find okay, out so the cable is plugged into my vcds it's showing me a green light on the cable that means the cable is reading data and we are on the software page over here and let's just put the car on ignition don't start it put it on ignition that will allow you to start reading the modules. So, just so that I don't get sound, I'm going to turn off my fan over here and I'm going to turn off the infotainment over here. Okay, so VCDS, fortunately, my computer is touch screen, but this is how the module looks like. There's some, the first thing you should always do is do an auto scan. Auto scan basically asks, uses the software to go into each control module and scan it so you hit start over here and the, it just starts reading all the control modules seeing if there are any errors in them and it'll show up the errors this also does a scan of your can gateway and shows you what all control modules are there in your car like some cars have some different control modules some have other control modules so as you can see i'm throwing up some errors it must be from the track day something must have gone wrong somewhere or the other and We'll just check. So it's just pulling up all the control module channels doing the auto scan. And it's going to go into each control module, look for error codes, and then tell me what the error codes are. So once the scan is complete, you should get a, a dashboard like this. So it tells you all the control modules over here and what is the status of each control module and so on and so forth. And you can scroll up to see all the control modules. Once the scan is done, now you're going to, you can actually use the mouse. Let me just, wait a minute, press the mouse. Okay, there it is. So you can use the mouse or you can do the touch and just select the faulty control module that's showing. Click on it. Double click on it. Basically, it'll open the control module and it'll show you the error code. Now, yeah, this tire pressure warning was happening because I had lowered my tire pressure too much on track and from what it was. So I generally learned 35 PSI of tire pressure and I was running 30 PSI on track. So that will throw an error code definitely. This is something you expect. So you can simply go to go to go down over here to call clear codes and use that clear code button to clear the code. So I'll do that clear code. It'll say, are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. So I'll just click on yes and done. Fault load is clear. Now, once the fault load is cleared, then we can basically go back. Hit done, go back. 
and you can hit the close controller module that will bring it back over here then the next error code is in central electronics some some idiotic malfunction you can double click on this it will open the control module and show me the error code over here so current remote key current too low so that means this is telling me that my remote battery is dying so it's basically again same error this is an old error i had when my battery was dying if you can see it will tell you exactly when the error occurred you know fault code what kilometers it occurred at 76024 kilometers i am at 8400 kilometers so this is an old error code it doesn't mean anything it just means that the control module saw that the battery is low and it registered an error code so i can again do the same thing over here clear error codes are you sure yes i want to clear the error codes error codes are gone so again we do the close controller now we go to left uh, left door light something malfunction over here let's double check this what happened over here so this says bulb for low beam overheat this is a standard thing for all led cars in india led headlights kodas and Volkswagen's in india this basically happens that the bulb because of the heat ambient heat it overheats and it reduces the intensity so this is also something that will keep on coming up there's nothing you can do about it it's not a fault it just it, well, when it sees this error what it means is it it reduces the light intensity because the it feels that the bulb is overheating so the same thing on this one again overheat again i can clear these codes these are expected codes these are there in all octavias and jettas which have led headlights it's even there in that tiguan once in a while it's just a warning so your intensity goes on by about 15 20 percent that's not much so yeah so we again clear the codes close the controller go back now 5f is basically that screen the information screen is 5f and that has a malfunction and yet i knew there was some issue my this thing was hanging quite a bit once in a while and let's see it says interface for external media no communication so yeah in, instrument cluster control module optical bus these are some things that happen when you go over hard roads and some connector gets loose or you know for example the, this this issue is primarily that my usb cable got loose and it threw an error code and that's what happened this is understandable nothing nothing major it's primarily a connectivity issue rather than anything else so i can clear these codes also done again i do close controller go back and now that i've gone through each one of the control modules and cleared the codes now i can do is i can clear all the trouble codes so here clear dtc press this button it'll ask me are you sure you want to clear all dtcs yes i want to clear so it'll clear the trouble codes it'll scan the uh, control modules again and it'll tell me if there are any other fault codes that will come up so i hit done go back now it's just scanning the codes again it scans the can gateway these are all the installed modules and everything is okay so we are all clear so no issues one more thing i want to think is that no a, a control module will throw an error code if it's a hard if it's a real problem right intermittent problems it may not throw an error code but it might register an issue in in a soft what is called a soft code so for example i check my engine i want to double check my engine right the engine control module see there's no fault code over here sometimes maybe there's an intermittent misfire some low battery it will not show up in the error code but if you look at the control module it will see an error over here so since i don't have any error codes i can simply go done go back and close controller so as of now all my error codes are cleared and we are good to go so i hit close and that's how you scan your car using vcds now programming your car is slightly difficult there are obviously various guides online so i'll not go through it but for programming your car you hit select control module this will bring up all the control modules the card has and then you go into each control module like for let's say we go to instruments and then use the coding options over here to change the way the way it behaves obviously be very careful while fooling around with this there are very good guides online on what control module has what options so use those guides don't fuck around with this too much 
this part is primarily for reading codes and you know read logging data logging so the advanced measuring values tab you use for data logging so this side of this of vcds is safe this side are not so be very careful playing around with this side this side you can use to read various data like the ecu is seeing and log it if you need to so yeah so i close the controller i go back and that is basically the a simple introduction to what vcds can do for your car okay all right guys have fun hope this helps